there. There's no right. There is no opportunity for me to go back on it now. It's a decision that I made. Um, it happened and uh, there were consequences from it. The University of Texas at Austin made national headlines in April for their pro-Palestinian protests that took place on campus, resulting in the arrest of dozens of people, including students. I do spend a lot of money to be here and it takes up, you know, a significant portion of my time. I have family who went here and I really wanted to go here when I was a kid. Students like Ari, who are facing disciplinary actions for their involvement in April's protests, are now choosing a deferred suspension. It it was an offer given by the university for some students in their disciplinary proceedings. The deferred suspension is kind of like a probation. You have to follow the guidelines of the university for student conduct, and if they catch you violating it, then you're immediately suspended. According to a letter sent to students by UT, students who choose the deferred suspension will also be quizzed on their knowledge of university guidelines, and this incident would be left off of their official transcripts. But students could opt out of the deferred suspension. Sitlali Soto Ferrates says from what she knows, not many students are choosing that route. If you don't take the offer, basically they're saying that it'll be a more intense um, sanction. So that can be suspension, that can be uh, another form of probation, that can be expulsion. A lot of students would rather do the deferred suspension mostly because this has been a long drawn out process. Many of the cases are different for students facing disciplinary action. Students who opt for the deferred suspension would have that status for a year, according to the university. Students could also appeal the disciplinary sanctions through a university hearing. Sitlali says drawing out the process could have worse outcomes for students who reject the deferred suspension. A lot of students are choosing the deferred suspension because really there's no other route that um, they can take. In a previous statement to CBS Austin, UT Austin said in part, the university has made clear that we enforce our institutional rules. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.